cheek slightly. Now, luckily for the Cavs, we got a team that's honestly been playing even worse than the Cavs lately coming into town. In fact, we have two games against these guys in three days. And that, of course, is the 17-53 and 53 Charlotte Hornets, who are 8-29 and 29 on the road. They've lost four in a row, losing to the Suns, 107-96, to the Sixers, 109-98, to the Magic, 112-92. And then in their last game, they got blown the hell out, just like we did, against the Atlanta Hawks, 132-91. So these guys are as ass as we are right now. But they've been doing it the entire year. We've just been playing like ass ever since the All-Star break because we haven't been healthy. We're crazy. Hmm. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> OBS trolled me uh, for a second. A little blip on the radar. I think we're good. Hopefully my camera behaves too. That would be great. But I'm just going to shut up about that. I think it's just OBS being stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Anyways, uh, in their last game, we saw what the Cavs did, or didn't do. But against the Hawks, um, yeah, uh, DeJounte Murray, without Trey Young, 28 points. They had 25 from Bruno Fernando, bleh, and 20 from Garrison Matthews. Now, to be fair, the Hornets do have a solid lineup. Brandon Miller's a dog. Miles Bridges is still doing his thing. Nick Richards. Terrence, is that Trayman? And then Michich. Trayman. Okay. There's two men. Two mans. <laughs> two mans. Well, would you say two men or two mans? Two mans. I'm guessing, yeah. They have Trayman. And, uh, their, yeah, their center is Nick Richards. Yep. And then, of course, they have Michich. You have Grant Williams, Mr. I'ma make both. Pokushevsky, Bertans, Smith Jr. off the bench. It's just a gobbled-together bunch of players. Cavs better win today. I know they better. Just place another 50-cent bet on the game. Four threes. It was Sam for four and Miles for four. Well, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, the Cavs, of course, losing three straight. I think this is the first time they've we've lost three straight since the beginning of the season. When we were booty cheeks, but that was very beginning of the year. And then they picked it up for sure. Ironically enough, the Cavs really took off. Without Garland and Mob without Garland and Mobley. So people would automatic automatically look at that and go, yeah, Garland's not we don't really need him. Well, we were just lucky that we freaking had Spider. But yeah, the last time we lost three in a row was beginning of the year. We lost to OKC, Indiana, and New York. We hadn't lost three in a row since October. No, I'm sorry, no. December. Yeah. Orlando and then the two Boston games. That's right. That was when all hell started breaking loose. When uh, Mitchell and them, without well, that was actually when Garland got hurt. One of those Boston games. That's right, yeah. And then Mitchell was out, Mobley's out. And then, because the Cavs are the Cavs, they went on these massive win streaks of eight and nine games. The only thing separating them was a loss to the Bucks by ten. Spider was back, and uh, yeah, he looked good. Mostly Spider only missed a couple games due to silk due to an illness. But man, we didn't have Garland or Mobley for a while, and Mitchell Mitchell held it down. Heat are a strange team though. They are they're, they're very strange. They're missing guys just like us, but they have Jimmy Butler. So uh you look at the remainder of the schedule for the Cavs. They have Charlotte, of course, back to back here today and then on Wednesday in Charlotte. Then they have Philly on the 29th. And then they have Denver, and then Utah. Yeah, they go to Denver, and that, that starts the last major road trip of the year out west. Denver, Utah, Phoenix, and then two in L.A. And then they come home for the final three games of the season. And 
A lot of people are looking at what JB's been saying because JB does not give timelines for injured players to return because that would put pressure on them and expectations. Essentially, it's they'll be here when they're here. They'll get here when they get here, pretty much. I mean, to be fair, we didn't even know Evan was coming back to when he did. So, um, yeah, we're about ready to get this baby underway. And let's see if the Cavs can get back. Okay. Yeah, OBS is trolling me tonight, bro. It just reconnected again. Damn it. Piece of crap. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. Better not. All right, so we are good. I don't even really need the YouTube thing on. I think I'm going to turn that off. I don't need that on. Yeah. As long as I have the stream going, we're good. Yep. All right, so we are a mere few seconds from tip-off. As always, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that damn bell. We are now officially 10 games left in the season. Cavs only a half a game ahead of the Knicks for third. And uh, the Cavs look to stay in third place. They have a chance to do some good stuff. And it would be great. It would be awesome if the Pistons could help us out. But we can't trust those losers over there. They're trying to get another number one pick. So the Cavs rocking their wine jerseys for this one. Victor says over. All right. All right so we are ready for tip-off. Nick Richards and Jared Allen. At center court. Back in Cleveland. And then they'll go to Charlotte for their next game against these guys. J.B. Taylor, also a Hornets fan. Kind of weird situation, but yeah. Here's the tip. Won by the Cavs. Garland corrals it. He'll spit over to Levert, and we are underway from the Rock. Levert gets a screen. Inside for Allen. Back to Garland. Goes up. Back dunked by Allen. They thought they, uh, you know, rejected Allen, um, rejected Garland, which they did. But then there's my guy J.A. with the cleanup. Kick out. Here's Bridges. Kicks it out. And he lost it out of bounds. Cavs ball. All right. Just wanted to make sure the, the, the scoreboard was awake. Wanted to make sure the scoreboard was awake. What's up, Jacob? All right, here's Allen. Garland inside. Allen kick out. Okoro for three. Yo, oh, short. Saved by Allen. Goes to Okoro. Allen inside. This should be a mismatch city right here. Garland drives to the corner. Kicks it out. Lavert. Three ball. No good. Okay. Here comes the Hornets. Brandon Miller. The poster boy for my thumbnail tonight. Keep an eye on Michich right here. Here's an open three. Is off. No good. Taken by Okoro. Here comes Isaac. Takes it up the floor. Drives. Kick out to Mobley. Good to have Mobley back. Kicks it out. Garland. Drives. Levert. Tries again for three. Hits that one. Yeah, the Cavs, they should have no issue if they play their best game. I'd be pissed. I would never want to watch the tape from last night's game ever again. It was a practical no-show, as they say. Like a mulligan game. Like, eh, they've been on the road a lot. 14 different cities in 14 days. Hook, hook is good. So the uh, Hornets are on the board. Nick Richards, a guy that I wanted the Cavs to trade for if he was on the market. You hope J-Ram plays? I hope I think he will. I don't know why he wouldn't. And uh, and uh, oh, it was kicked. Okay, that's why we didn't go after it. And I was like, wait, why aren't we going after that? Like we could have easily saved that ball, but I guess it was uh, knocked out by the Hornets. So here's Levert gets it to Allen. Allen, here's Garland. Allen, the lob and the flush to Mobley. God, did I miss that? Heat are a tough-ass team. They always are, especially in Miami. I always say they have one of the one of the rare home field advantages 
new home court advantages because of the nightlife. Miller pulls up and short taken by Richards, who lost it, and then gets yeeted out of bounds and it'll stay with the Cavs. Or it'll go to the Cavs. All right. Nice lob by Allen to Mobley. Seven to two. Here's Levert inside Allen getting trapped. Kicks out Mobley. Don't travel. Be careful with that left foot. <laughs> Garland. Thought about pulling up. Here's Levert. Two seconds. Pull up and short. Okay. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if they remember the shot clock exists. Michic gets it over. Gets it to the side. Here's Richards. Here's Brandon Miller. Pulls up for three. Good. WA got well, women's college basketball on the TV right now. Out of bounds. Hornet ball. Again, Nola Mello. I think he's out pretty much for the year, mostly, at this point. It's crazy. I saw an underdog... Twitter account talk about Brandon Clark. I'm like, ain't no way that dude's gonna come back with 10 games left, bruh. Pull up is missed. And it goes to the Cavs. Up ahead, here's Lavert. Kick out. Okoro for three. No. Guys, we gotta stop firing these threes off unless you're gonna make them. And almost a bad pass. Miller saves it. Chucks the threes. No good. And then Okoro just gets in front of it. Isaac gets it to Garland. Garland going to drive. Goes up, and he missed it completely because he got blocked. Okay. Here's Bridges. Fouled. So, yeah, that nice little start's going to fizzle out real quick. Of course. Lose this game, bro. Like, this, this season might be cooked. Struess and Wade aren't back soon, and Donovan essentially is focusing on the playoffs. But it's like, bro, wouldn't you want to get... Oh, and he misses the first free throw. It's like, I'd try to get back at least by the start of April. Get some games back under my belt. Get back going again. I don't want my first game out of an injury to be in the playoffs. I'd at least want to come back by that West Coast, by that West Coast trip. Who knows with Spider these days? Here's Okoro. Mobley. Floater is good for Evan. Nine to six Cavs. Here's Miller to the side. Bridges for three is good. At least when I go to Guardians Yankees, last game of the series. Oh, yeah. Four of ten years. Mobley pulls up, and that's an air ball. My dude held on to the square button too long. Come on, Ev. And George Niang checks in for the Cavs. And Mobley will come out, so he shoots a brick, and he's immediately out of the game. Again, he's probably going to still be on that 25-minute restriction, I'm sure. Bridges against Niang. Miller, guarded by Levert. Got a screen and a horrible pass to nobody. She went to the coach. Yeah, I went to Coach Bickerstaff, who's not playing. So we have a timeout. Yeah, so Train Man hasn't really uh, done much except for two rebounds. Yeah, it's called timeout. Yeah, this is the first of three games within the next 20 some days. Today, Wednesday, and then April 14th, one of the last games of the season. Other games going on tonight, Boston, Atlanta. We already know who's winning that one pretty much. Detroit, New York. I'm going to need Detroit to somehow beat the, beat the Knicks. That'd be funny as heck if that happened. Brooklyn, Toronto, Washington, Chicago, S, Portland, Houston. Keep an eye on Houston. 
Because all of a sudden, they're nipping at the Warriors' heels. The Warriors are in the exact same boat as us, except they're healthy. They're as healthy as any team right now. Still stink. And then you got Phoenix and San Antonio, Memphis and Denver, Dallas and Utah. Of course, the team I'm really worried about right now is the damn Knicks because they're right on our heels. And I'm really sick and tired of listening to Stephen A. talk about Donovan Mitchell going to the damn Knicks because he ain't going there. He's staying here. The vibe is he's going to be a Cavalier long term. And all I'm going to say is this. If he, when he assigns his extension, I hope Kobe and them get aggressive and they, be, they go out and add some more solid pieces to this team. Especially on the bench. Because, I mean, you look at our starting five, it's pretty good. Has its flaws. Like two big men that really can't shoot. Or one that can, sort of, but he's not great at it. The other one, no. No. Mm -mm. No. No. All right. So, uh, on the floor... I think that's all. I don't think there's any other substitutions. Niang, Levert, Garland, Allen, Okoro for the Cavs. Michich, Mann, Richards, Bridges, and Miller for the Hornets. So, uh, there's J.B. Bickerstaff. Or as I like to call him, Bald Man. Bald Bozo. There's so many other nicknames I could give him. Doofus. Dingling. <laughs> so, Ready for uh, more action coming out of the timeout? Niang inbounds it over to Garland, who will just walk it up the floor all nonchalant, guarded by Mann. Michic. Here's the pass. Niang, Garland for three. He's too strong. <sighs> Darius. Bridges. Got it by the slow-ass dude. And he misses. Good pressure by Allen. Here's Levert. Out to Garland. Garland drives inside. Almost turns it over. But Allen's there to clean it up and gets the easy slam. 6.03 to go in the first. We have eight points in the paint. They have zero. Here's Trey Mann. Demichic against Levert. I know he's got Niang. Niang struggling. Up too strong. And now here comes the Cavs. Up 11-9. Okora almost lost the ball. And he did lose the ball. Oh, Isaac, 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 Isaac. Focus on dribbling. It's like he was focusing. He was like he was trying to cut to the rim before he really had the ball. It's always us, man. These guys, like, they dribble like they've never touched a basketball before. Like, what are we doing, bruh? 5.35 to go here in the first. Up by two. Kicks it out. Brandon Miller drives in. Fouled, and he'll have two shots at the line. Seems uncoordinated. Right? Completely different than when Mitchell's on the floor. When Mitchell's on the floor... It's like they're on a mission, right? They know what they're doing. When he's off the floor, it's like you're missing something, right? Injury report, of course, Lamelo, Seth Curry, Cody Martin, and Mark Williams out for the Hornets. And, of course, Mitchell, Struess, and Wade with Jerome out for the Cavs. It's been that way pretty much since the All-Star break ended. So Cavs up by... Or no, Cavs are tied. So 11 apiece. Up ahead. Nice pass. Okoro up and good. Cuts right to the basket. I think uh, it's pretty simple. Cavs are going to get whatever they want in the paint. I don't see Nick Richards really being able to stop us on the inside. Michich. Here's Pokushevsky. Former Thunder player and another foul. 
and all they're going to do is just draw fouls because that's all we do is foul. Yep. We are foulaholics. Yeah. We love to foul. Calling that being overly physical. Nice pass to the cutting Okoro. Free throw up and good. That's Nick Richards. Sam Merrill enters for Levert. That's the only other uh, change. Second free throw. Good. 13 apiece. There's Lamello. He's been cursed with injuries the last couple of years. Hornets can be a good team. If they could just stay healthy, which that's a big if at this point. Allen, Okoro, here's Niang, pulls it up, and that's a bit short. Ends up out of bounds. It'll stay with the Cavs. 4.37 to go in the first. Cavs, like I've said, are they've been playing like a playing team these last few uh, weeks without Mitchell. Mitchell came back, right? And they look good. And then, most of the time, here's Niang again. Another brick. Okay, yep. He's, he's going to revert back to being a mini bus tonight, I bet. Yep. So, Grant Williams is in the game now for the Hornets. Acquired from the Jazz at uh, the trade deadline. Merrill guarding Pokushevsky and, oh, almost crashed into him. Wide open in the corner is no good. Wow. Wow, we left the dude open and he didn't make us pay. Who would have thought? Garland. Inside. Allen. Is he two points? Yeah, like I said, we're going to get whatever the heck we want in the paint. The key is stopping them from shooting the threes. They have zero points in the paint. We have 12. All but three points in the paint. Yeah. Kicks it out. Here's Bridges for three. No good again. Now here come the Cavs. Garland. Niang over to Merrill. Okoro got him in the air. Drives baseline. Garland. Three is no good. Oh, this team is just going to keep shooting them. And they're going to keep breaking them. Up and good. So, yeah, we just can't shake the... The mighty Hornets at this point. Like I said, this team is a playing team without Mitchell. You could see it. This team is a playing team. Levert, I mean, Merrill for three. No good. Guide, make your threes. If you're going to shoot them, make the damn things. Okoro fires. He misses a three. Brick, 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 brick. Are the Cavs, like, trying to build the Browns a new stadium with all these bricks? Like, I'm serious. I think they are. It's a conspiracy. They're trying to build the Cal the Browns a new stadium with all these bricks. Three, no good. We're having a breakfast tonight. Damn. We're having breakfast. Forget breakfast. We're having breakfast. Here's, here's Niang. Pull up three. It's another miss. Boing, boing, ding, dong. Hey, guys. The ball goes in the hoop. The ball goes in the hoop. You're hitting everything but the hoop. Kicks it out. One more stolen. It'll go back to the Cavs. <sighs> Only the Cavs would be in a shootout with a bottom feeding team. But that's how we've been. We can beat the good teams, but then we get into these unneeded, unnecessary shootouts against bottom feeders. I mean, we're getting whatever we want in the paint. We've only made, I think, one three of the entire game so far. We have. All, all but three points have been in the paint. I mean, we're facing Nick Richards. We should get whatever we want in the paint. We should have damn near, like, 80 points in the paint tonight, I feel like. Just abuse them in the paint. My God. Yeah. But as always, guys, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell.
thought I was going to sneeze for a second there. Nope, it went away. Yep, thought I was going to sneeze. How's that? Uh, don't you hate that? Is that you feel it like right up in here? You know, like, I, I, you, you end up making like a funky ass face trying to get it to come out. And it's just no, it just goes away. It's like, well, that was a buzz kill. Oh well. So, when it's called timeout after the turnover by Miles Bridges, tied at fifteen. And, yeah, um, we're lucky that the Hornets can't hit the broad side of a barn either. Otherwise, we would probably be in trouble. In fact, all the players on the floor right now have not made a three. Garland's oh, Garland hasn't even made a damn shot. Yeah, he hasn't made a shot yet. Niang hasn't made a shot. Merrill hasn't made a shot. I think, I think this team is legit exhausted. Yeah. This team is legit exhausted. Someone actually talked about on Twitter last night how J.B. Bickerstaff runs his starters into the ground by the All-Star break, and I think that's true. He does not know about minute distribution. His And his rotations are usually like seven, eight players deep. I'd be going deep as hell in the freaking regular season. I'd be going nine or ten deep on a regular basis be going 9 or 10, maybe even 11 deep. You gotta watch the Yankees on Thursday on opening day. Nice. Alright, so on the floor, Davis Bertans and Trey Mann are back in there. Well, Trey Mann's back in. Davis Bertans enters for the Hornets with Williams, Man with Williams Bridges, and Prokushevsky. Mobley, Garland, Morris, Niang, and Merrill in for the Cavs. Here's Garland just walking it up the floor, all nonchalant. No big deal. Mobley. Merrill. Step back three is good. Maybe that'll set us off. Maybe we start hitting threes. We're two of 13 from three tonight. <laughs> God. If we hit even like half of those, this game would be like calves a lot to a little. There's a nice rebound by Mobley. Here comes the Cavs. Garland drives up and hey, he scores. Not that Darius, you can go to the rim. What a miracle. Holy crap. Trey Mann drives in on Mobley and does a foul because that's what we do. We know when we get beat, we foul. Oh, well. Make him earn it, I guess. Oh, no. There were, okay, well. It'll be an inbound. Pokushevsky gets it out. Here's Trey Mann. Drives. Kicks it out. Oh, bad pass. God. I thought we were bad passers. These guys turn it over almost every freaking play. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like, if we... We're healthy. We'd probably be up damn near 20 by now. Mm -hmm. Five turnovers already. Man, it seems like they should have more. Three. He missed it again. Hey, uh, George, uh, how about you put the ball in the hoop, bro? Can do more than hit and shoot threes, you know. Top of the key. Bertans open for Bridges. Chooses to go inside. Kicks it out. Up, and I don't know what happened. I guess there was a foul, as usual. Ah, <sighs> brother. Hey, Cavs, you know it's illegal to not foul, right? Yeah, because he, yeah, Williams got Mobley in the air. Because the first instinct is to jump, I guess. Free throw is good. Makes it a two-point lead. So, yeah, it was an and one. Okay. Here comes Garland racing up the floor. The lob. Nice catch by Mobley. And he missed it. But another foul. And now Mobley will, I believe, go to the line for two shots. We should get whatever the heck we want in the paint tonight. 
and just be able to abuse these guys at will in the paint. The difference is we can't shoot threes to save our life. That's been the case for a while now. And if you've noticed, in those losses, we have been ass from the three-point line. That's been our lifeblood this year. I have noticed. And he misses a free throw. Ah, oh, of course. Mobley's officially back. He's missing free throws. Merrill will check out. Okoro returns. I think that's Lavert back in the game, too, for the Cavs, from what I saw. Yeah. All right. Up oh, and he misses the second. Freaking Mobley, bro. Hopefully he wasn't working on his free throws during his time off. 17 seconds to go in the first. Up by two. He was man. Step back. Pokushevsky. Inside. Up and good. Yeah. Here's Levert. Almost lost it. Oh my god, he really did lose it. 1-8 to go. Jump ball. This team is so butt cheeks, dude. This team is beyond butt cheeks. Like, how in the heck are we in a dogfight with the freaking Hornets? They can't seem... They, they seem to like not... Look at Levert. What's Levert doing? Uh, I'm just gonna see it. Watch the ball. <laughs> like, Levert, grab the ball and start dribbling. Why are you walking alongside it? <laughs> Especially when Grant Williams is right there. So here's the uh, jump ball. Tipped. Up, oh, and that's not even close. After one, it's 2020. And yeah, Cavs playing like a playing team at this point. Luckily, they're not playing like a lottery team. Or I guess you could say... Uh, they're playing like a team that's played a crap ton of games in a short amount of time. I mean, March is always a very tough month for a lot of teams because injuries pile up and you're getting worked extra hard, right? Not to mention, you had that lull recently of the All-Star break. I can imagine, you know, you're on the All-Star break, you're chilling. Maybe you didn't make the All-Star festivities, so you're pretty much chilling, resting up. Then all of a sudden, you're back. And of course, the Cavs had what? Two, three double back to backs in that short span of like five days or so? Yeah. That did a number on us, too. The back to backs. They say, yeah, we're going to limit them, but yet they still become an effect. But that's why you used your depth. But JB. And all his glory runs his starters into the ground by the time we get to March and we're left with this, right? Starters are running on fumes and because they've been just used like crazy. The only times we don't see the starters are when we're blowing teams out. Honestly, I'd be using my depth, right? That's what it's there for. I mean, I wouldn't be using my two-way players, really. My uh, G-Leaguers, because yeah, they're not available all the time. So you probably have about 9, 10, 11 players, maybe. I would use damn near the entire depth on back-to-backs. I would dig into my bench. But that's why it's always good to have a solid, deep bench. So you could use those guys. You know, preserve your starter's legs. And also, uh, you know, keep them healthy. Of course, with the Cavs, as we've noticed, it's really two kinds of injuries. Ankle and knee. Although, it used to be face, too. We've had a couple face, in face injuries, too. Alright, so there's a look at some fans in the stands. So, uh, Miller back in for Pokushevsky. Richards is in for Bridges. It's Bertans, Williams, Mann, Richards, and Miller for the Hornets. Lavert, Morris, Thompson, Merrill, and Porter for the Cavs. I still think the Cavs can win. The Cavs better win this game. Like, seriously, they better. If they don't, I'll be. Ugh. It'll be ultimate doom time on Twitter. Three is no good. Here comes Lavert, bringing it up. Karis. 
Karis to the corner. Here's Porter to Karis. Here's Merrill. Drives. Here's Thompson, who lost the ball. Can these guys dribble? Like, damn. Dribbling, bro. We don't know how to freaking dribble. Are we serious? Clearly, we're not. My goodness. Here's Williams against Morris. Man. Right down Broadway. Misses the basket. Thompson to Merrill. Here comes Merrill. Levert. Merrill to Morris. Oh, that's Thompson. Whoops. Thompson to Morris. And offensive foul. That's something I never thought I'd see, though. Thompson passing to Morris. You remember a couple years ago, those two were uh, opponents. Oh, yeah. Look at Just. Hey, Tristan, stop throwing elbows. Stop throwing elbows. Damn. Just throw his elbows out, bro. Damn. Here's Bertans to Williams against Morris. Trey Mann. Got Morris on him. Williams on Porter. Step back. Oh, nice pass inside. Got tied up. Levert got it back. Somehow. Here's Karras. To Morris. Karras. Little jab. Kicks out. Middle three. And he missed it. Went everywhere but down. As usual. Yeah. Stops. Here's Mann. Miller, three, got it, and the Hornets have taken the lead. Oh, man, ten minutes in the half. Here's Porter. Porter to uh, Thompson. Lavert, top of the key. Merrill to Lavert. Here's Morris, little fake, and then he almost lost the ball. Uh, Morris... Inside. Blocked. This team is pissing me off. And then there's Captain Arms crossed. Every time they show me, he's got his arms crossed. <laughs> Dude, this team is ass. This team is legit butt cheeks. <laughs> they really are. Bartlands, here's Miller. In the corner, working on Levert. And he lost the ball, but it'll stay with the Hornets. 3.3 on the shot clock. It's the inbound. Two, one, pull up three is a brick. 24 second violation on the Hornets. Good defense by the Cavs. Great defense by the Cavs there. So Levert. Oh, there's Merrill. He'll inbound it to Porter. Porter going to take it up. Got it by Mann. Porter getting doubled. Here's Thompson to Merrill. Inside Thompson. Out to Levert. Levert. Floater, good. Hey, we scored again. I love that. With 51 to go. Uh, here's man. Drives, floater is off the, the side. Uh, off the rim. Can't speak tonight. Like they can't shoot. <laughs> Damn. Porter. Almost turned it over. I don't want to think he was tied between two spots. Up oh, and got an and one for Craig Porter. Thank you. I know you, wait, the Cavs are just a much better team. We should win this game. But no, I don't hate when you make predictions. You see, you made a prediction, right? What Jacob did a couple games ago, that was sacrilege. He was claiming victory before the game ended. You don't do that. It's okay to make a prediction like, yeah, we should win this game. We are the superior team, even with the injuries. But, yeah, you don't be out here claiming, you know, saying we're going to win. We're winning this game. You know, we won. You don't say that before the game's over. 
Especially when 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 uh, Jacob did it. You could have been you, Hanson. <laughs> no, you made a prediction. You made a prediction. Predictions are fine. You said we're going to win, hopefully. Or whatever. We should win this game, though. Up and he missed again. Allen with the rebound, who's back in the game. Good to see Jarrett back out there. Here's Levert with his wacky-ass dribbling style. Very, very, uh... Crazy dribbling style. And there's a, a whistle. Timeout. Yeah, Cavs called timeout. Oh, wow. Harrison Merrill have, I think, two of the only threes made so far tonight. Ironically enough. Nobody else can shoot. Ah, uh, yeah, Jacob said game is over. Yeah, yeah, I remember when he said that. I got mad at him for that. But then right after he said it, I can't remember who we were facing, but they came back, and we damn near lost. We went to overtime. I was like, you're lucky. I think it was at Minnesota or Boston when he said that. The first Minnesota game when we won it. I think it was the Minnesota game. We won in overtime. I was like, you're lucky. Because if we would have lost after he said that, I probably would have legit like put him in timeout for like 24 hours. Because that is sacrilege in the sports world. Claiming victory before the game's over. Do that? No. No. It's freaking stupid. I saw someone on Twitter do that for the Bulls game that we lost. Claiming that we already won the game. and No, we didn't. Oh, man. E so, yeah, Cavs are uh, struggling mightily against the uh, Mighty Hornets, who are missing uh, quite a few starred players. I mean, they got Brandon Miller. They got a couple good players, obviously, but no Lamelo Ball. Miles Bridges is back, though. I know some Cavs fans wanted us to trade for him or sign him. Never forget, Miles was, like, this close to getting the bag. The Hornets literally had a big old bag of money waiting for him. And then the allegation thing came out that he was beating somebody up. And then they're like, oh, well, this isn't yours anymore. We're going to give this to somebody else who deserves it. <clears throat> but yeah, Jacob. Like, Jacob, you really don't understand how close I was to banning you. Or well, not banning, but putting you in timeout for that. If we lost that game, you would, you would, I was probably going to time you out for maybe like a couple minutes or something. Five minutes or whatever. Or you in the brig. All right, so. No uh, substitutions. Austin Carr. Tournament record 61 points versus Ohio. March 7th, 1970. That's college ball. Nobody has really matched 61. Granted, some teams don't even score 61 in a game these days. Levert for three. Off the rim. No good. Taken by Bridges. Bridges going to take it in himself. Goes up and off the rim. Here comes Karras the other way. He'll give it to Merrill. Merrill back to Karras. Here's Morris. Got him in the air. Pull up for two is no good. Had a hand all up in his face. Miller. Oh, there's Richards with a nice uh, block, I guess. And a dunk. Like, the Cavs are really in a dogfight with the freaking Hornets right now. But that's the way we are. Yep. What happens when you play like ass? Seven minutes left here in the half. Here's Allen to Porter. Picked it out. Mel Morris for three. Got it. So he'll miss the easy layup type, but then he'll make the three. Okay. Gotta love logic. Gotta love it. 6.40 to go. Here's Miller. Drives in against Levert. Pull up two. He's good. But there's a foul. So I don't think that'll count. Points in an NCAA tournament game. Austin Carr, 51. 
He also did it two other times, 52 twice. Uh, the next closest was Bill Bradley with Princeton in 1965. No one in this era has even come close to that. Granted, the most I think we've seen is like 40, maybe. 61 in a freaking tournament game. I'm sure back then, they also had uh, two halves. 20-minute quarter, 20-minute halves. So, uh, what happened? Ref hurt himself or something? They're going to review something. Okay. They're reviewing it. They beat Bozo staff. Let's see. Oh. Morris made it later. Nice little elbow. Will we strive to be bolder together? Chipotle chicken al pastor is back, and it's by. So they're looking at. It's where fire meets flavor. Chipotle chicken al pastor. The wait is over. By 100% free with triple tax free addition. They're all gathered around the assistant coach, looking at what what they're looking at. See, it's like we need to like wind up and hit him. My dude just ran right into Morris, and Morris looked like he was just bracing himself, but still. He still fouled him, but he was, like, pushing him off. So we'll see what they say here on the review. Now they're still looking. Brandon Miller has 10 of the set of the 27 points for the Hornets so far. Hey, when, when the hell is Donovan come back? I wish I knew, Mick. Of course, JB isn't a guy that gives timelines, so he could easily be back by Wednesday. By the way, I think tomorrow is actually his one-week uh, pickup on his nose. I think the main thing is his nose, but he's also resting his freaking knee, too. Honestly, I'd play him on a minutes restriction. I'd start him, but I would give him maybe like a 20 to 25 minute limit until the playoffs. All right, so uh, coach's challenge. Read lips because I have it on mute. Because we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, Morris got ejected. A flagrant two. Damn. He got hit with a flagrant two. That's crazy. So Garland is in for Porter. And Michich enters for Trey Mann. Pokushevsky enters for Brendan Miller. They gave him a, a flagrant two. Because he hit him like in the head and neck area. It looked like he was just bracing for him to come after him, but so free throws coming up, yeah, of course. So Marcus Morris uh, played a few minutes. And now he's right back out because he he got ejected. Flagrant two, free throw up and good. By the way, in case you guys haven't heard already, it sounds like. Uh, Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski are going to be getting extended really soon. Free throws are good. Oh. All right. So they have the ball tied at 27. Here's Bridges. Good defense by Mobley. Here's Michic. Guarded by Allen. Oh, a steal. Pick it up, uh, uh, Evan. Damn. Garland. Evan and Yang for three. Got it. 
about damn time we start hitting them threes, I tell you. God, should have a way larger lead, but we are unserious when it comes to hitting threes lately. I think it's because they're tired, Loki. Like, you know, it's been a long stretch. Three, no good. Like, think about the lead we could have if we were hitting our threes like we were before uh, this crap happened. Garland, inside. Allen, up. Oh, no, got it. Rebound. Put back, Tonk. But they're going to say a foul. Right from the base, I was like, no. Uh-uh. No, no. Eh? No. Whistle. 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 He was fouled in the process of the rebound, so they're going to say uh, two shots, I believe, for Jared Allen. That's the steal by Moby, and he's like, I right. did he get hit in the face too? Although he got popped in the face. So no, 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 no two shots. Okay, Garland, Yang for three. Gosh, no, no, no one. Oh, he's starting to heat up now. I think that's timeout. Hornets, Cavs up six. If if Yang starts heating up. Watch out. He could go from mini bus to mini van real soon here. Look at Mortgage Fieldhouse. If I'm not mistaken, we have like, what? Three, four more home games after this one? Because remember, we have that, what, five or six game road trip. And then we have the game against the Hornets on the road. Yeah. My ultimate hope is we get Mitchell, at least Mitchell, maybe Struz or Dean back by that West Coast uh, stretch. If I'm Mitchell, I'm trying to get back by that time. Even if he comes back, like, you know, during the stretch. You know, get some, get some run on the court. Get your legs back underneath you. I'm not trying to have it where his first game... Coming off of this second injury, or his third, I guess, because he's out of that knee thing. He's had, he's had illness and then a facial thing because of Tristan Thompson's reckless elbows. It's like, bruh. Never fails. But I think he could be back maybe by the West Coast trip. Which, between now and then, I think there's like, what, two games? Heck, even if he comes back for the final three games. That would still be good. I just want him to come back to get some run on the floor and get going again, right? Get back in the swing of things because same thing with, you know, Max and Dean. Because remember, Dean hasn't played since he, essentially since he uh, hit had that great game against Boston, pretty much. He had that game with the Kelseys in tow, like they were there. He played, I think, one or two games after that, and then he was out for personal reasons, which we found out. He's missed the last five games with a broken nose. I put knee because technically he, you know, he has been battling that knee thing, but I think it's more of his nose. But he will have a uh, check thing, a, I guess, status update tomorrow because it's official. It'll be officially a week. But here's Pukushevsky. Kicks it out. Pull up two is a short one. Pull up again is good by Pokushevsky, former Thunder player. Five minutes left, up by four. Here's Niang. Okoro inside for Allen. Here's Garland, takes it. Draws a crowd. Gets out of the crowd, and he's fouled. Crazy though, like we were without Garland and Mobley for a month earlier in the year, and we went on two massive ass winning streaks with Mitchell and Gar and uh, Allen carrying a uh, carrying the load. Then Garland, and we're without Mitchell, and look what happens. <laughs> Mobley out, Okoro for three. Hit. Okay, the threes are starting to fall now. I think four thirty-two to go and counting. In the half. Oh, a steal. It rolls right to Pokushevsky. From Tons for three. He's good. Back come the Cavs. Okoro. Almost lost the ball. That ball is very 
Oh, Blow in for three and... It's good. Okay, there you go. We're what, five of seven from three in this quarter. They must have, uh, again, forgot to take away the carnival rim. Or they took the plastic off the rim or something, or the saran wrap. I don't know. Here's a three. That's way too strong. Cavs will take it up by seven. Garland. Kick out. Okoro. In for Mobley. Here's Niang. Niang over to Allen. Allen going to drive in. Hook off the glass and in with a little mwah. Yes, sir. Timeout. Hornets up by nine. This is what I've wanted for so damn long. Offensive efficiency. Like our offense is actually alive. Now, of course, you know, the haters could say, oh, the Hornets are just missing a crap ton of shots. So are we. If you think about it, if we were hitting our shots earlier while the Hornets were doing this crap, we'd be up by at least 20 right now. I've literally said all game, the Cavs should be able to get whatever they want in the paint. They cannot stop Jared Allen and Evan Mobley when they actually want to get after it. Only way you stop those two is if they're just not motivated, if they're not in the game, like if they're not into it. But man, they, they look like they're into it tonight, which I love to see. All right, all right, all right. Of course, I got the, uh, well, I guess I'm going to call this the Diamond LeBron jersey. It kind of, for some reason, it kind of reminds me of like a one of those future, you know, the rapper. You know, used to uh, date Ciara. Yeah. Reminds me of like something that like you'd see on his album cover. Cavs up nine. Brandon Miller is in for Davis Bertans. Karras returns for Mobley. Damian Harris is retiring. Wow. Well, he wasn't having much interest, I guess. They figure, well, I'm not getting much interest. My body just isn't right, so I'm going to retire. There's Bridges against Levert. Drives baseline up and good. 41-34. It was the Cavs. Allen out to Levert. Guarded by Bridges. Gets it to Allen. Here's Garland. Allen. Inside. Goes up and in. Like I said, they, they can't stop him. When Allen is on his game, he is one of the best centers in the NBA. When he's not thinking about Minecraft and Pokemon. Problem is, he's had a problem with that. He, like, he thinks, I'm, what, what Pokemon should I go after when I get home? And there's a foul. But it's an offensive foul. <laughs> And that'll be Cavs ball. It's on Pokushevsky. Two forty-two to go in the half. Up by nine again. Here's Garland. Lavert drives inside. Does a little spin around. Here's Niang to Lavert. Karras to the corner. Niang drives corner. Okoro. Back to Garland. Fire some curry range, and that's no good. He had to he had to rush the shot because of the shot clock. I don't know if he got it off before the shot clock. I think he did. But he had to rush it because of the shot clock. He took a glance and was like, oh shit. That'd be, that'd be going through my head. And then there's Niang with the foul. All that dude does is foul because he's so damn slow on defense. Like, I mean, he is slow as hell. He's a sloth. Sloth man, sloth man. Like, how is a dude so slow on defense? I don't get it. He has cinder blocks for feet. It's true, though. This is the first free throw. He's so easy to get by on defense. And then he'll foul you if you get, if you get past him. Yeah. Second for Pokushevsky. Up and good. Splits the pair. Niang will inbound over to Garland. Who takes it up the floor. 
Two minutes approaching here in the half. And yeah, we have two minutes left. Two minutes in the half. Allen and Niang gets to Garland. Guard double teamed. To, oh, and he needs to pass inside and a foul. Allen was like driving. He's going to kick it out, but they fouled him before he got that. Why more time bench for Evan Mobley? He's just coming off an ankle injury, so they want to ease him into it. I think they have him playing like 20, 25 minutes. Because then once he gets back, uh, once he gets his uh, rhythm back, I think he'll be back to full minutes again. It's going to be too much longer. Probably another game or two, and then he'll be back to his full-time minutes thing again. His usual rotation. This free throw is good for Jared Allen. Allen loves owning the, the, the Hornets. Especially when Plumlee was their center. Uh, second free throw is good. Up by 10. Largest lead of the game for pretty much either team, I think. Yeah. Especially the Cavs. Here's Micic. Drives. Oh, blocked by Okoro, who just stood there staring at the ball. I don't think you thought it was going to stay in bounds. Garland. Oh, nice pass to Allen. Corner. Niang for three. It's good. Oh, my God. I mean, went through. Wow. That was sexy. That was so sexy. I think Okoro, I don't think Okoro thought the ball was going to stay in bounds. There's a two from Miller. 48-37. Here's Levert. Nice inside. Kick it out. Here's Garland. Garland, corner, Niang. Okoro fires. He hits the three. See, like when this team is hitting their threes, they are damn good. When they lose, it's because they their threes aren't falling or they can't stop the other team from shooting. That's the main thing. When our guys are hitting their threes, we're fine. That's why Mitchell was so good when we didn't have Garland and Mobley because Mitchell shot the three better than anybody on this team. 51-37, 28 seconds to go. 10-second difference about between shot and game clock. So the Hornets will at least get one more possession before half. Garland, unless we get a rebound. Kick out. Niang three. But a foul. Did he step out? No, he traveled. Oh, you silly hysterious. Free time. It's something different. This time it's traveling. Like he does that thing where he cuts to the base. Like he cuts to the basket. Like, yeah, I think he had to wait an extra second because there was a defender there. This Darius, Darius, always costing us points. Oh, I'm not going to hate on it, though. Still a good pass. He just took an extra uh, hitch in his step. Here's Miller. Four on the clock. Three, two, at the buzzers. Not even close. Off front rim, and that's it for the first half. So after a uh, sus first quarter, the Cavs woke up offensively. And that's what I love to see. Up 51-37 after two quarters. And now we are going to go through the box score. Because I love the box score. Okay, where's my mouse? My mouse freaking disappeared on me again. Okay. There's the mouse. My mouse is hanging out. Okay, let's turn off the scoreboard for a second. Okay. All right. So, box score time, because we love the box score over here, right? All you casual box score readers that don't watch the games. So, uh, yeah, um, the Hornets not doing so well tonight. Ten points from Miller leads the way. Eight points for Bridges and Richards. Mann and Michich have not scored. Off the bench, five for Pokushevsky, and then three apiece for Williams and... Bertans. Thor actually played a minute. Ooh, a minute. And that's all. For the Cavs, 
12 points for Jared Allen. What you would expect against, you know, Nick Richards. Ugh. Yeah. Eight for Okoro, four for Mobley, but five apiece for Levert and Garland. Garland having one of those derp games, but he is giving out assists like crazy, though, which I love to see. Classic uh, derp Garland game. Off the bench, nine for Niang. Think he hit all his shots at almost at the same exact period of time. And then three apiece for Merrill and Morris and two for Porter. Of course, Morris got ejected because of a freaking uh, little push to the neck area. So he, we won't be seeing him the rest of the game. But, yeah. I liked what I saw in the first half, though. 31-17 first, uh, second quarter. And, of course, the Knicks are taking down the, the Pistons right now. 36-17, which is what you'd expect. Same thing with the Celtics. Beating up on the Hawks, 49-22. All right, so what do we think? What do we think uh, Twitter is complaining about right now? Dare I look? They're probably complaining about something stupid, aren't they? Like they always do. Yeah. Ooh, baby. I said, ooh, baby. Ooh, ooh, baby. E -e -e. Hey, crazy dog. When's your next Browns video going to be? I have no idea. Hmm. I will say, though. Tomorrow, I will be doing a live stream for uh, the Guardians. Going over the roster and my season predictions. And then Wednesday, I'll go live again, of course, uh, for some uh, MLB predictions overall. Predicting the standings and stuff. Yeah. And now, of course, I'll be live for the Cavs and Hornets Part 2. So, also... In regards to the Brown Stadium situation, it sounds like they're leaning towards building the dome and essentially building up the area around it. Yeah. Which I like that. You know, people are going to be like, oh, no, don't put in a dome. Keep it the way it is. It's like, do you, you do realize that building a dome would attract a lot more people because there's people that don't want to go sit in the cold for four hours. Right? And not to mention the events that they'd be able to host. I'm just hoping that they make the stadium huge and loud as hell. I feel like if they do, when I see that first render, I could just see the freaking like video board being another one of the ring boards around the freaking thing like, they, like you see in uh, L.A. I'd give us a ginormous jumbotron in one end zone. Yeah. But it sounds like they're leaning towards a dome. Honestly, for me, I'd say retractable roof. But I wouldn't be completely against a dome. I'd like the, I like the retractable roof idea. You know? It allows you to bring in some natural light and, uh, cool, you know, fresh air. The thing is, though, they'd probably have to go artificial turf. Right? You'd think they would. What else are people complaining about? Because I know people are complaining about all kinds of things. Jimmy and D Haslam say stadium options are a $1 billion renovation or a new $2 billion dome outside the city. Most likely at, in Brook Park, right next to the airport. And if you know the FAA, they have uh, limitations on how tall you can build a stadium. That's why uh, Levi's doesn't have overhangs because they can't go any higher. Wow. All right, but yeah, guys, as always, like I've said a thousand times before, and I'm probably going to say another a thousand times. Be sure, as always, that. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell. What the heck is that? Is this like a uh, Doolittle or something? Dr. Doolittle? <laughs> it's a Jim Carrey movie. What the hell? <laughs> It's a freaking video of this guy 
Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey character, it looks like Doolittle or something. Dude getting chloroformed. <laughs> Freaking Doolittle or whatever. <laughs> NFL bans hip drop tackles. NFL defensive players <laughs> have to pass them out. Put them in a chokehold. Get back, right? <laughs> No, oh, but seriously, though, like, with them banning hip drop tackles, what you're going to probably see a lot of is when the ball carrier gets past the second level, players aren't even going to bother chasing them. They're essentially just going to give up, so be prepared for a lot more scoring. Yep. If you get, if they run past you, that's done. He did he left the country? Really? Oh, because the, the feds raided his houses. That's tough. Oh, that's tough. P. Diddy! Oh, no, where'd you go, buddy? P. Diddy said bye bye I'm outie. I'm outie here. See you later. Oh, man. All right. Boom. Bop, bop, skibbity. Skibbity toilet. We like the skibbity toilet. Okay. For those who don't know what a skibbity toilet is, look it up. It's hilarious. It's this freaking, like, meme where this dude's head's poking out of a toilet. It's weird. I see some weird things on social media and on YouTube nowadays. I can't tell you how many rabbit holes I've fallen into on the on freaking YouTube. You watch one video and then it's like before you know it, you got a whole list of videos that you've seen. It's freaking crazy. You know, yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, Morris. Uh, Morris was ejected because he threw a freaking shove at. I think it was Richards. Some people seem to believe uh, Michi Johnson, who played for South Carolina, might be coming back to Ohio State. Yeah, some people seem to believe that uh, Michi Johnson could be coming back to Ohio State from South Carolina because Holt Mid is gone. And I guess the, the vibe is that Holt Mid told him to get the hell out which he did, you know. But now Dibbler has taken over, and he might be coming back. Which would be awesome. It would be so freaking awesome. So, someone on Twitter did like a projected roster, I guess, for the Buckeyes next year. They say J Bruce Thornton, Tyson Chapman, and Judy Mobley, who's coming in as a freshman at point guard. Roddy Gale, Bowen Hardman, and Scotty Middleton at shooting guard. Evan Mahaffey, Kalen Etzler, Devin Royal, and Colin White, another freshman forward. And then Felix and Austin with a little bit of Zed Key. And they might even add a transfer or two as well. They're not going to go crazy in the portal. I could see them maybe adding one or two transfers. Obviously, Michi would be one of them if he comes here or goes there. I believe we bring in another off-ball guard who can handle it a little bit off the... And then another forward and a 6'10 big man. Yeah. I think a couple guys might transfer out, too. I could see it being guys that just don't play a lot. Like Chapman might leave or Kalen Etzler... Or uh, maybe like Parks or something. I don't know if they're bringing in players if guys start leaving Ohio State. But we won't know that until really uh, they start, until their NIT run ends. And hopefully that doesn't end for a while. Because they're still going. Man, dear, I thought I worked my bowl. 
Yeah, it seems like Buckeye fans are really enamored with Michi Johnson coming back. Some think it actually could happen. He diddy. Bruh. What a situation that is. Dude, the feds raided his houses. I think he has like a couple houses and they, they raided him. That's tough. I can't imagine having, you know, a house raided like that. You're a celebrity and you have a house raided by the feds? You know how embarrassing that would be? Like, imagine, right, you know, like, you're trying to stay, you know, out of trouble. Next thing you know, the freaking FBI bridges in and says, Hey, yo, what you got here for us? I ain't got anything for us. We're looking for something. I can't tell you how many videos I've seen of the feds raiding the wrong house. I'm thinking, wait, so they don't confirm the address? Or if they do confirm the address, they don't simply look at the address on the house? Because what that does is you're blowing your cover, right? Especially if the target house that you were supposed to go after is right next door, right? Now, the criminals that you were going after know you're after them. Because you raided the innocent people next door. Gotta be careful. Look at the address, mate. And also confirm the address, too. With, on the warrant or whatever. Because, man, not only do you blow your cover, but you scare the absolute crap out of an innocent family. Right? That would be tough, too. I mean, of course, you also have the trend that is absolutely, like, asshole-ish of... YouTube streamers getting swatted, right? Swatted. Yeah, that's a whole thing, too. Can't tell you how many YouTube just gamers, especially, have been swatted over the years. Oh, that's even tougher. Like, imagine you're a, a streamer, right? You're a gamer. And you're vibing, right? You're doing your thing. Next thing you know, the feds are knocking on your door. And obviously, to you know, in order to get swatted, they give you like they give the f the person swatting you, calling the SWAT on you is like, oh yeah, you know, I have a gun and I'm holding hostages. Because the police, they're coming to your house thinking you got hostages and you got a gun pointed at people's heads, right? But in reality, you're sitting here playing a game, having the time of your life. Maybe your parents or your Housemates are out there just vibing, right? Next thing you know, police comes knocking on your door. They're ready to freaking barge down in, barge the door down and go save some people's lives. And they come walking in and, oh, there's just people vibing and there's no one in danger. And the thing is, they can't trace because a lot of these, these lunatics now, they, uh, smart. They hide their like at their IP or whatever the heck it is. So Darius Garland will enter for Tristan Thompson, and Miles Bridges will re-enter for JT Thor as we get ready for the third quarter. What was a very fun second quarter? Let's see if they can keep it up. Just a little, you know, food for thought, right? Yep. Wow, Oklahoma and Indiana are in a banger right now. One minute to go in the game. Sheesh. Talking to JJ Outlaw right now. 51-37 Cavs. Coming out of the uh, halftime here. Bridges ready to inbound. You see Majic. Man. Garland up there with Okoro. Here comes Michich bringing it up. Guarded by Okoro. Gets it off. Here's Bridges against Allen. Up and take a bad bounce. Ends up right back in the Hornets hands. Three ball for Miller is good. Yeah, that's been our luck too. You know, just uh, you force a miss and it bounces right back to the Hornets. Or the, other, the opponent in this case. Garland got him on the flyby. Garland drives, stops on a dime, pull up for Mobley, in and out. Swear, this team just can never just have it simple. Drives up. Oh, nice kick out. Stolen by Levert. 
Up ahead, Mobley. Over to Okoro. Up and good. Good job on transition. Up by 13. 10.58 to go. Foul and one. Nice job by Levert just getting in the passing lane. A little extra pass. 68 64 Indiana. Ooh. Wow. Free throw coming up for Miller. Good. All right. Here comes Garland up the floor. 53 43. Garland. Drives around, out, Levert. Floater is no good, and he thought he was going to save it. No dice. Here's Michich. Michich, or whatever. I think it's Michich or Michich, or whatever. Up, and he missed it. He went over the rim completely. Mobley up for Okoro. Mobley. Well, he's them open for three. Hits. No, I thought he was going to hit the three. He shot it from top of the key, but he missed it, of course. Two of them last night. That's like his two allotted threes before he starts stinking it up again. At least he's not afraid to shoot it. Wish they would fall, though. Miller, too. Good. 9.58 to go in the third. Up by eight. Garland. Inside, and the... Nice little dunk for Lafreda. I think it was, was that a no look? He might have hit him with a no look. Ooh. If he did, that is sick. 55 45. And here's a turnover. Cavs take it up the floor. Up by 10. Here's Garland. Nice moves. There's Mobley right down Broadway for the two. 9.17 to go. Mychich taking it up. Kicks it out. Miller against Levert. Miller. Out to Bridges. Four on the clock. Three. Up. No good. Brought in by Allen. Here's Garland. He's going to push it. Drives. Out. Levert bobbled. Nice move. The lob. And a flush by Mobley, who came out of nowhere. And we have a timeout, Hornets. Mobley came out of nowhere for the lob. He was just kind of hidden in the jungle there and just popped up out of nowhere. By 14. 14 point lead. It's this game better than last year. Yeah. I guess. So, yeah, it looks like Indiana is going to take down Oklahoma in the uh, women's uh, bracket, March Madness. How do people say the women's side is as entertaining as the men's side this year? Although the thing is, is with, the woman, with the women's side, it's very top-heavy. Like, you practically know who's pretty much going to be in the, uh, at least in the Final Four, I mean, it's going to be some combo. You're going to have South Carolina, LSU, USC, and then maybe like a shocker like Duke or something. I don't know. In fact, I could probably turn it on to something else. Uh, what else do we have to watch here? Do, do, do. What else is on? Oh, Celtics Hawks. Put this ass kicking on TV. There we go. There we go. Let's put this ass whooping on TV. <laughs> Wow, 28 points, Saturday versus the Hornets. DeJounte Murray. It was 30 point, 10 assists, 5 rebound games since March 1st. 3 for Murray, 6 for Doncic, 3 for Cade, who's obviously out. The Hawks, of course, are trying to stay in 10th place. They're trying to stay like ahead of the, the Nets, which the Nets are ass, so they're, they're pretty much going to stay ahead of them, I think. Shouldn't be an issue, but you never know. Collapse could happen, and the Nets could somehow slither into the freaking playing. 
whether they like it or not, but I don't see that happening. I don't know how the Hawks would do without Trey Young. I mean, they have DeJounte, but no Sadiq Bey either. But they do have some other pieces like freaking Bruno Fernando, who's come out of nowhere. He's been solid for them. Of course, uh, no, no, no match for the Celtics. I'm going to be doing quite a few Celtics playoff games. Because I'll be doing other teams besides the Cavs, of course. Like Celtics, Sixers, or whoever. I'll be doing a, quite a few Warriors games too. Especially the play-in round. I'll get into that stuff when it comes around the time. Alright. So here's the inbound to Bridges. Gets it off to Michich. Michich against Okoro. Here's Brandon Miller, the rookie. Kick out. Man up. No. Got it. Oh, bouncing all over. Back to man up and good. Swear, our guys have crab hands. They don't know how to freaking rebound a ball. Here's Garland. 8.19 to go. On the screen. Mobley thought about pulling up again. Goes up and gets the basket. Again, we just got to enforce our will inside. They can't stop us. They can't stop Allen and Mobley. Almost a steal. And one. Can other guys just like stay on the floor? Times have they gotten us to jump on a little pump fake? On a head fake? But I mean, a lot of these guys are like that. They're jumpy. It's three games for the Cavs. Of course, the Hornets on Wednesday. Then we got the Sixers. And then we head out west to face Denver. Not feeling too good about that West Coast trip without Mitchell. Let's be serious. Even if Mitchell wears a mask, I think that'd be, that'd be pretty awesome to see him in a mask. There's Levert. Step back for three is a brick. Oh my god, had no arc to it. And they get a easy breakaway layup. Up by nine. Garland back the other way. Over to Allen. Here's Levert. Levert over to Okoro, and there's a foul. That's gonna be on the Hornets. I think that's on Miller. The guy I put in the thumbnail. Not too many good guys to choose from. Of course, we play these guys three times in the span of like, what, 20 some, 20 some days. Here's Garland. Over to Mobley. Out, Okoro. Got him on the fake. Kick out, Levert. Got him on the flyby. Inside, and there's the lay-in for Mobley. Man, they are finding him all over the place inside. He just slips on inside, and they don't even... Stop him. They can't detect him, really. 32 points in the paint. Up uh, and back dunk. But I believe there was a foul prior to that. Yeah, there was a foul prior. It's on Mobley. Two shots for Miles Bridges. Okay. Yeah, that game's only in the second quarter in uh, Atlanta. It's 59 to go in the third. Free throw. Good. More coming up. Oh, yeah. Miles Bridges. What a great human being he is. Second free throw is no good. Like I said, he had a big old bag waiting for him full of money from the Hornets. And then he messed it all up, being an idiot. Here's Garland over to Levert. Levert inside for Allen. Five on the shot clock. Garland pull up from the free throw line is good. Practically a jumping free throw. That's, that's pretty much what it was. Up by 12. 6.27 to go. 
There's Miller. Against, oh, he dropped him. And he gets the basket because, uh, you know, a little shove to Levert. Puts him on the ground. Not a shove, but it was a little, uh, little shoulder, a uh, little check. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Garland bringing it up. Garland, here's the corner. Levert, near top of the key, gets a screen. Get some space. No good. How do you miss that? It bounds, and it'll go back to the Cavs. Talk about getting lucky. That would look like a missed in a turnover, but nope. It goes off the Hornets out of bounds. Yeah, we just, I'm sorry, Levert just lost his balance. First, like, oh, oh, he freaking pushed me. Damn you. Garland. And an offensive foul because we can't set screens. This team can't set. You know, they should learn from Draymond how to set illegal screens. Because he always gets away with it. So Niang is back in for the Cavs. Matched up with Pokushevsky in the corner. Up by 10, 543 to go in the third. Drives. Mitrich up and good for two. 530 to go. Garland takes the ball up the floor. Guarded by Michich. Levert over to Allen inside. Levert up and they're gonna say jump ball. So yeah, it was a held ball. And it'll be Pokushevsky versus Levert. You see right there, he just kind of had all ball there. I'm sure Levert probably argued he fouled me, but no, he had all ball. I have 20 to go. We have a jump ball. 65-57. And it's won by the Hornets with ease, obviously, because the size difference is crazy between Pokushevsky and Levert. Kicks it out. Open in the corner. Bridges. Good. Allen gets the rebound, barely, over uh, Grant Williams. Garland against Michich. Or Maichich, whatever. Damn. Levert. And he traveled. Karras. Yeah, you better take your ass to the bench, bro. Why not a dribble? Sam Merrill returns for Karras, or Careless Levert, as I like to call him, when he messes up. I will only call him that when he messes up. Yeah, because he's very careless. Let's quit. It was Williams. Kicks it out. Floater. No. Allen wins the uh, jump ball. Here comes Niang. He's pushing it as fast as he can, which isn't very fast. Garland. Guarded by Bridges. This moves. Kicks it out. Okoro. Merrill. Seven on the shot clock. Merrill drives inside. Okay, he'll go back out to the other side. Okoro, he'll drive. Goes up. No good. My God, Cavs, if you blow this, I'm going to just laugh. Up and he completely missed it. My God. Baby, be careful there. Don't go over and back. Garland, over to Allen. Goes up and throws it down. Like, this dude Garland, man, he always is. Da, 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 da. I can't tell you how many times he's been like that close to an over and back this year when they do that. Pokushevsky. Look at Allen trying to chase him down. Three. Good. Ah, right. 67 to seven, uh, 60. 67 60. Cavs lead. 333 to go. And I thought he turned it over. Garland. Bobbing and weaving. Out to Merrill. Merrill trying to get space against Miller. Allen against Williams. Okoro. Okoro for three. Got it. Yo, did Isaac, is this like his best three-point shooting game? Like how many threes he's made in a game? I think it is. It's right up there. Ten-point lead thanks to Isaac. Pass inside. Miller runs into Allen there. Oh, bad pass out of bounds. Great defense. 
essentially shut down his uh, baseline and running lane and made him pass it. Timeout Hornets or Cavs. Let me see. Timeout Cavs. All right. 20 for Miller. And then 14 for Allen. Double double for him. Garland is three points and an assist away from a double double. Even though he's been shooting like booty out here. Garland, Garland, Garland. And then George Niang has uh, nine points. All from three. All in the span of, I think, like five minutes. And then, yeah. Hmm. Uh, all right, let's check something out. Yeah, guys, be sure as always to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I keep pushing that because that helps the channel out. That's why I keep saying it over and over and over and over and over again. It helps the channel out. Gets the channel out there, exposes it to the algorithm, sends it to the people. The more people that watch, the more lit this channel gets. You already know. I don't even know how many more days freaking Morris even has on his 10-day contract. Someone said this is one of his last games. It could be. The break layers? Really? That's great. Oh, uh, Rock should talk about Monday Night Raw. Actually, turn it to Raw. I forgot. Raw's on the night. Part about me doing this, I can watch Monday Night Raw on the TV, and then I can have I can do this game, so I can have them both on there. Got what freaking station it is, of course. Freaking Dish Network. Oh, we gotta look. Oh, it's one oh five. Bra. Not even close, man. Damn. There we go. All right. But yeah, the playoff push. Uh, Denver back in the number one seed. Phoenix is sixth seed. Philly is eighth seed in the East. A half a game back a sixth. Here's Parker back in the game. 2.43 to go here in the third quarter. Here's Mobley, who lost the ball. Kind of a dangerous spot to put the ball, to be honest. Here's a three. That's no good. Taken by Merrill. I'll get who's on the floor here in a second. Merrill! Three ball! No. Too short. So it's Bridges, Mann, Williams, Pokushevsky, and Bertans for the Hornets. And then Mobley, Okoro, Niang, Merrill, Porter for the Cavs. Here's a three. That's good. There's Pokushevsky. All right, here's Niang. Kick out Merrill for threes. Too strong. Saved. Mobley up, and he missed it. Here comes the Hornets. Down by seven. Man. Up. Oh, no. Taken by Niang. Merrill to Okoro. Okoro drives, goes up, and he missed it. Saved by Merrill somehow. Okoro, kick out. Niang, three, got it. Okay, George. Dang, bro. Turning into uh, Mr. All I Do is hit threes. Because he can't do anything else. Here's... Man trying to shake Niang, which isn't very hard, to be honest. Pick it out. Almost stolen. Corner for Pokushevsky. Three. It's good. This dude just hit a destroyer. <laughs> Canadian destroyer. That's freaking lit. 
These guys are nuts, man. I love it. Inside, Mobley. Getting harassed. Inside, and he got the... They're going to count it. I don't think so. I think he got fouled. Oh! Oh, Don Mysterio. Oh, of course. Freaking bozo. Stupid ass boy. Stupid ass boy. And he's out of there. See you later, bozo. Isaac Okoro hitting trays. I love it. All right. Here's Levert to Mobley. Mobley dancing around on one foot. Spins. Spin a Rooney. Up oh, and he's. That. Ricochet. <sighs> wow. That was pretty dope. Levert getting nasty. I mean, M Mobley getting nasty on the inside in his second game back on the floor. Mobley has 14 points, 10 in the quarter. Free throw is good. 15 for Evan in the quarter. 10 in, 11 in the quarter. Had a quiet start, but yeah, he's he's really woken up. Pokushevsky guarded by Porter. Up and shit. Oh my god, brother. Kicks it out. Bridges. Uh, no. Missed it again. Taken by the Cavs. They're going to push it. They have the advantage. Niang. Levert. Now they're going to slow it down. Last shot of the quarter. Five on the clock. Four. Levert. Niang. Drives. Off the crease and in with 1.3 to go. Bertans. Football pass. Half court. Heave is off front rim. And that is it. After three, Cavs up 78-66. Yeah. That was another very solid quarter. Now let's put this damn game away and then we can get go to Charlotte and do hopefully do the same thing. That would be great. These are the games you need to win. Well, the Rock is there, too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. But yeah, as always, guys, shout out to the people watching tonight. Pretty good crowd for the most part, I'd say. We're vibing really well, you know. Good stuff. WrestleMania coming up. Was it next week already? April 6th and 7th. And I'm pretty certain I'll be live streaming both days. Maybe with a special guest. We'll see. That'd be dope. Would it be on this channel? I don't know. If I did it on this channel, it would probably be via StreamYard. If I had a guest. Because I know, I don't think OBS, I think you need a special like uh, thing for OBS to have Skype. Besides, I trust StreamYard more. Of course, I don't know if I can trust my PSN though. Oh, man, it's going to be a fun-ass freaking event. Can't freaking wait. Uh. And, of course, we also have baseball, too. Can't forget about that. Baseball starts up this week. Tomorrow night, I'll have a Guardian season preview. You know, and then on Wednesday, I'll be doing my uh, MLB preview. Then I'll be live for the Cavs later that night. And then Thursday, I'm pretty sure I'll be live for the Guardians on Thursday night. I should be able to go live for that. But anyways, here's Porter. Gives it to Niang. Merrill, nice passing. 
Up and good for Porter. Man, that was a beautiful pass. Extravagant. Cavs trying to get back in the win column. Snapping a three-game losing streak. Hornets trying to snap a four-game losing streak. Here's Levert. Porter against Mann. Levert against Miller. Pull up. Two. And he missed it because he's a bum. That's a, that's a classic... It's a classic Levert. Missed an easy shot, and he'll make something stupid later. Man, out to Bertans. Three. Good. Niang, up for Porter. Porter takes it back the other way. Here's Merrill. To Mobley. Merrill, fire. He's got it for three. Merrill just moves two feet to the left. Kits the ball back. Shoots it. Drano. 83-68. Here's Miller. Three for Williams is no good. Taken easily by Mobley. Mobley going to bring it up. Here's Levert against Grant Williams. Out to Merrill. Again for three. Come on. And there's Mitchell. Like, Woo! Yeah. And that will cause the Hornets to call a timeout. Cavs up. Damn near 20. It's a 8-2 uh, to two quarter so far for the Cavaliers. Cavs really haven't been shooting that well uh, for the most part. It's just the Hornets can't stop turning the ball over. <laughs> oh, man. But Evan Mobley having a solid night. Niang's having a good game, of course. Levert is being Levert. Merrill has got nine. And Porter's got four. Awesome. As far as, like I said earlier, the status of Struess and Mitchell and Wade. Well, Mitchell's at the game. I haven't seen Struess. I mean, he's been at games, but he should be back soon. Uh, JB's actually come out and said that they should all be back by the start of the playoffs, which I'd hope so. My hope is, like I said, I want them back by at some point in the West Coast trip. Right? You get them back at that point, you'll give them at least three or four games or so to get back in the swing of things, especially for Struess, who hasn't played since he hurt himself against the Knicks. And there's CM Punk coming out. He's got the uh, the sling thing on his right arm. I wonder if they're going to have him doing like a Batista fake out. You know, make it look like he's injured still. And then Drew or whatever is going to yab, 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 talk trash. And then he's going to yeep, take it off. I remember when uh, Batista did that against Randy Orton. Yeah, that was pretty sick. But yeah, we vibing right now, man. We're feeling good. Cavs doing really well. Wish they would have been doing this earlier. But as we've seen, when the Cavs are hitting their shots, they are as good as any team in the NBA when they're hitting their threes. You look at the you look at the uh, three point totals and stuff. The the three point splits that we've had in our losses lately. You will notice they stink when they've stunk. From three, they lose. They've relied so hard on the three this year. They've made it a point of emphasis to shoot more threes, and they have been. The, you know, the best number they, they have is like the metric number for threes per game is like 30 some, maybe 40, damn near. I want to light you up from three. So here goes Bridges and a foul as Lavert got tied up with Miller on the side. I don't want to go in the half, in the quarter, in the game, actually. Yeah, in the game. Up by 18 points. Here's Miller, guarded by Niang. Kicks it out to Bridges. Back to Miller. Drives on in, and he's fouled. 
just runs into Niang, who's, again, very slow. He's a bigger dude, so he can't run that fast, I guess. He's like, he's got cinder blocks for feet. That's why if you're Niang, you gotta kind of maybe sag off a little bit. Give, you, give him a little extra space. Oh, is CM Punk gonna be on broadcast? Or is he just gonna be talking? Oh, he's gonna be in the ring, okay. Damn hoodie, though. Free throw is good. All right. Free throw number two coming up. 86-69. Cavs. And good. These two will face off on Wednesday in Charlotte. And then again in April. Here's Merrill out to Levert. Karras. Open. Put in the corner is no good. Oh, Caleb. I'm just, just want to say Caleb. He's, he was a soccer coach. Or he is a soccer coach. Miller against Mobley. Niang on Miller now. That's asking for trouble. Free. Oh, I thought it was going to be an one, but nope. Still made the shot. 86-72 with nine minutes to go. Porter. Mobley. Oh, he shook my dude and gets the basket with ease. He sent that dude flying, I guess. Maybe he popped him or something. Oh, Grant Williams might have hurt himself. And the camera guy's like, hey, get off me. <laughs> we got a timeout. Camera guy's like, get off me. Don't touch me. <laughs> Be laying up on me with your sweaty back, boy. Let's see what happened here. So he's working in... Is there something like in his gut or something? I don't think he got punched in the gut. He just maybe felt the twinge because he went flying off. He went running off the side, which left Evan with a wide open basket. Evan Mobley had a minute's restriction. So they say P. Diddy has fled the country. People are crazy. They can just track jets. Like, Porter left the United States on his private jet. Took off earlier. Has been tracked to the Caribbean islands after raids on Diddy's residences in L.A. and Miami in re relation to a trafficking investigation. Flight tracking data indicates that the jet appeared on to land on Antigua in the Caribbean. It is currently unknown whether Diddy is actually on the flight or not. That's interesting. He's probably duping them out. Sent the plane to Antigua, and he's probably somewhere else. But yeah, Diddy's got himself in some hot ass water. Yeah, like that whole situation is crazy. So, according to uh, South Carolina basketball insider Chris Clark, the expectation is former Buckeye Michi Johnson will be transferring back to Ohio State. He left because of Hope Mid. So, man, getting him back would be great. He should have never left. But, my God, Chris Holtman was ass. Holtman is... Yeah. He Chris Holtman belongs in basketball prison, pretty much. The basketball version of Guantanamo Bay. No, he did actually get a job at DePaul, which... I guess you could call that basketball version of Guantanamo. Not very good. That's what I'm trying to say, right? I'm not saying he should actually go to prison, but get a job at a horrible school, right? Because you know how they used to call the Browns, like, oh, football hell or football prison or whatever, you know? Oh, they sent me there to die. Well, Holtman got a job at DePaul. DePaul... But it sounds like Michi Johnson will be uh, transferring back to Ohio State, which would be great. I'll take him back, but sheesh. Ooh, yeah, I like that line. All right. 88-74. Here's Garland up the floor. <laughs> kind of rhyme. Bars. <laughs> Merrill. 
Open Niang for three is no good. Eight minutes to go, approaching. Up by 14. Miller. Bertans is in the game, of course. Three is no good. Taken by Allen. Bertans, he's been a couple places. Drives Lavert. And there's a foul. But yeah, Michi Johnson going back to OSC would be great because we didn't even really want him to leave, but Holtman is so booty at coaching, he left. And he was really good at South Carolina. Ah, oh, there's uh, McIntyre. It's cleared? Hey, yo! Wow, Hunk was cleared. I mean, he was working out without the bionic arm thing, so you know he's close, if not already cleared. Bridges. This line. Three for man. It shuts down any momentum that the Hornets were trying to get. He's got 12, nine in the quarter. Florida good for man. Like I said, the Hornets got some solid players, but as a unit, as a whole, they're ass. Good individuals, but not a good unit. Here's Garland to corner. Levert got him on the flyby. Niang, open three, got it, another one. He is cooking. He's like, yeah, yeah. 6.50 to go. Lead is blown back up to 15. Williams for three is no good. Taken by Levert. Keep pushing him. Get this lead up to like 20. Oh my God, the shirt again. Wow. Allen to Levert. Up oh, and he missed it. Got his own miss, but then it goes out of bounds. Karis, you are the biggest derp on the team. Not even kidding. You're such a derp. He's a derp. Derp. The derp. Careless. The derp. <laughs> Like derp, 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 Okoro for three is too strong. Yeah, he's aiming. Look, he was aiming for like the back part, and it just went a little too far. Maybe he was trying to bank it in, and the bank said no. No, it wasn't even close to a bank. It was too far to the left. Up, and he missed the freaking rim. A little bit. I think he hit more backboard than anything. Foul on for Jared Allen just because. Okay. <laughs> LOL. Ha <laughs> ha. LOL. LOL, Jared Allen just owning these guys inside. Bridges fouls him, and yeah. Someone said earlier in my, what, yesterday or something, it's like, at least we're not the Hornets. True. <laughs> True. 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 At least we're not the Hornets. Seven, 16 points for Allen, 12 rebounds. Merrill takes a seat. Mobley's back out there, of course. Free throw's good. Niang taking a breather, of course, as well. Cavs have been uh, in a pretty comfortable position the last quarter and a half or so. Up by damn near 20 again. Williams gets it to man. Uh, almost got blocked and another miss. Here comes Garland. They're pushing. Okoro drives and he's fouled. We're just attacking the rim and just drawing fouls like crazy. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, see, he was already kind of like, ah, off balance, and then he just goes down. Isaac with the fluff, got 13. Isaac deserves an extension, man. We need to keep him around. I wouldn't even care if the Cavs just ran this whole team back next year. As they stay healthy. Oh, by the way, I do see Max Struess and Ty Jerome, Mr. Uh, Street Clothes, on the side, on the sideline, in the bench. Ty Jerome has practically been in street clothes the entire year. 
Free throw number two is good. He splits the pair. He's been in street close pretty much the entire season except for two games. Or two and a half, I should say. Yeah. Here's Bridges. And. And there's Rollins. <laughs> oh, boy. Michich inside. Williams against Garland. Oh, it was blocked by Mopley. Lost the ball. It'll stay with the Hornets. There's Seth freaking Rollins. Dude, Mobley wanted to swap that thing back to Boston. Pass out to Williams, guarded by Allen. Drives up and gets a dunk. Ooh, yeah, let me hang on the rim. And then let me tee you up just for lols, too. Tee up your ass for that, boy. 98-81. They tee him up for that? No. Well, they did. I <laughs> got I knew they were going to do it. And then tee him up for that. Because he was hanging on the rim. There's nobody around. Why are you hanging on the rim, scrub? I'm going to make both. Huh? Right? I'm going to make both. Yeah. Good job, you scrub. I'm hanging on the rim. Yeah. When there's nobody around. The refs would let you hang on the rim if there was like someone like right underneath you to where you don't kick him in the face. But there's nobody around. He's just a freaking loser. That's all. You know, they're losing. He's like, I'm going to, because I got something out of it. <laughs> Up 99, 81. Three ball. This is no good. Who saved? Back to Mobley. Good save by Isaac. Kick out Garland. Throw a lob from there. I dare you. Pull up two is a brick from Allen. I would have, if I was grown, I would have thrown a lob up there. And all this time he puts in a nice little dunk and he's like, yeah, tee him up again. He's mocking the ref. Tee him up again. Garland. Drives. The lob up ahead. Oh, the, off the glass and in with a little mwah. A French kiss. Yes, sir. Bridges up and good for two. 101.85. Four minutes to go in the, in the game. Safe to say the Cavs, I think, are going to win this game, but it's hard to say with these guys, of course. Anything can happen with these damn Cavs. Nice pass. Garland up and good. Okay, Darius. Cut into the rim. Okay. Not just chucking threes tonight, are we? Huh? 12 and 10 for Darius. He has a double double. Almost a steal by Levert. Three ball. No good. I would just be lobbing gagging around, throwing lobs from half court. Honestly, if it was a game where we were up by 30 or something, I would that's what I'd be doing. Lolly gagging around. Three ball for Levert is no good because he's a scrub. Whoa, behind the back pass to Mobley. How did that stay in bounds? I will never know. Garland for three. Cut it. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeet. My dude Garland running out of bounds, running baseline out of bounds. goes yeet. Over the head to Mobley. Mobley gets to the Garland, fires the three. Bingo. Yeah. Up by 21, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for the starters on both sides. Look at this. He goes out of bounds, and yeet. And it doesn't crash into the people in the front row. <laughs> and then it goes back, gets the ball, fires a three. Oh, my God. Hey, Darius. Damn. You know, Darius, I'm going to take, all right, pretend this uh, channel guide, all right, pretend this channel guide is the nickname Dairy Ass. I'm going to put that in the drawer. Because you lost that nickname for now. But I, let me tell you something, Darius. If you have another tour date game where you're shooting like three of like 13 from the floor, looking like booty, oh, it's coming back out. It's coming back out for sure. But for now, it's in the drawer. So, yeah. See, there's Ty Jerome. Rumor has it the Cavs signed him, but... We've only seen him twice. Literally, we've only seen him two games the entire year, back in October. Then he hurt his ankle, and we haven't seen him since. So it's pretty clear uh, he got the he got Dylan Windler glass foot syndrome. Yeah, he's got Dylan Windler glass foot syndrome. 
because my dude cannot. He played two games and then uh, apparently his foot's made of glass because he was supposed to come back, I think, in January or something. And then he had surgery on it again. Haven't seen him since. So Pete Nance is actually going to play some minutes now. On the floor, it'll be Pokushevsky, Thor, McGowans, Smith, and Bailey for the Hornets. Nance, Bates, Jones, Merrill, and Porter for the Cavs. So it's apparently, it's essentially the Cleveland Charge versus the Greensboro Swarm. <laughs> I mean, damn. All right. Drives up, kick out. Open three is no good. Pete Nance, the brother of Larry Nance Jr. in the game for the Cavs. Had a 10-day deal earlier, and then they signed him to one of the two ways when they converted Porter to an actual contract. Porter, inside. Damian Jones, up for two is good. Tristan Thompson over there, yeah. Up by 23 points, 220 to go. 108.85. Drives up and good. And a foul for uh, the Cavs. So Pokushevsky will have an and one. Bruh. What's up, Shea? Smith? Cavs are playing much better tonight than they did last night. This definitely washes away the ick from last night. But there's Donovan Mitchell. And there's Max Struess. The My hope is that both of those guys are back. At least by the West Coast trip. Looks like Mitchell's nose is looking fine, but it's hard to say because it's probably on the inside that matters. Pull up two is good. I guess him getting bopped in the nose was a blessing because it allowed his knee to heal up a little bit more. <laughs> He's been worrying about his knee for the last couple weeks because it's been kind of eh. Here's a drive up. Good. 110 to 90. Cavs up comfortably with less than two minutes left. Porter probably just going to sit on it mostly. 39 assists on 44 field goals made tonight. Beautiful. Porter. The lob. Bones. That's funny. Monk. Love it. Kick it out. Here's Bailey. I think he's uh, from US, uh, UCLA. He said it was his mama was dating Drake or something at one point. Here's Simone Bates. Hasn't played a whole lot in the NBA, being a G-leaguer and all. But he does have some promise, though. Cavs drafted him this past year. Here's Merrill. 52 seconds to go. Merrill, kick it out. 23 as Seth Rollins hits the stomp on Drew McIntyre. Love to see it. So, um, yeah, Cavs win 115-92, and we will see these guys again in two days in Charlotte. So hopefully we see more of the same. Maybe we even see a return. That'd be great if we saw Struess or Mitchell come back, but I don't even know anymore. Ah. So, love to see what I saw. Very impressive victory for the Cavs. It's mainly that second and fourth quarter that really helped him out, especially that second quarter. But after a very sloppy first quarter, the Cavs locked in, and uh, yeah, they never looked back. Oh my God, the Hawks are up by the Hawks are down by six. Austin, Austin's got to stop with this choking thing, man. I'm going to label them serial chokers if they don't. Like, my God. How many games have they blown because they can't hold a lead? Especially heading into the fourth. So, uh, for the Hornets, really great game from Brandon Miller. I said before, he is an absolute dog, and he exactly is. As advertised, he played 37 minutes tonight. Barely sad at all. 24 for him. 13 for Bridges. 12 for Mann, 11 for Richards, and 2 for Micic. And then off the bench, you got 12 from Grant Williams and 11 from Pokushevsky. Uh, 3 from Bertans, and then 2 apiece from McGowans and Smith. For the Cavs, uh, yeah, 17 apiece for Mobley and Allen. You love to see that from your two big men. Uh, 
Mobley had eight assists and seven rebounds. He was on triple-double watch, and I didn't even know. Oh, God, he was on triple-double watch, bro. Damn. That triple-double. I didn't even know. Oh, well. Again, he was on a minute restriction, too. He played exactly 25 minutes tonight. Good stuff. But yeah, 17 for him and Allen. Allen uh, had... Yeah, you know, he had eight assists, seven rebounds. That's freaking nuts. Allen had a great game, 13 rebounds, four assists, and Darius Garland had a double-double. So three guy, two guys had double-doubles for the Cavs tonight. Love to see that. But yeah, speaking of Darius, he had 15 points. Okoro had 14, and then seven for Karras. Uh, three of 13 from the field, though. Uh, four to eight. <laughs> At least Darius responded with a six of 12 night. Shot 50% from the field, 2 of 6 from 3. He was solid. He did a really good job uh, rebounding after his bad start. Not to mention, he was dishing out dimes left and right, too, which is great. Off the bench, 17 from George Niang. 12 from Sam Merrill. And then, after, other than that, 9 for Craig Porter, 4 for Damian Jones, and 3 for Marcus Morris, who got ejected. Early in the game. At least he left with uh, some points. He didn't get goose egged. <laughs> so. That's all for this one guys. Uh, overall. The Hornets shot 34 of 80. 42.5% from the field. 9 of 28 from 3. 32%. And 15 of 18 from the line. The Cavs. 46 of 86 from the field. That was a big difference. 17 of 41 from three. And 6 of 10 from the line. In fact, uh, all their free throws came from the starters. Four guys. Mobley, Okoro, Allen, and Garland. Mainly Allen, who had three free throws. Made them all. Love to see it. Now, uh, overall... Cavs dominated in the rebound department, winning that one 47-33. And then they had 41 assists to the Hornets, 22. Four steals, they had five. We had three blocks, they had four. Turnovers, we had 12, they had 11. And then uh, fouls, they had 13, we had 15. So it was back and forth in those departments. But the big thing, though, we forced turnovers and we made our shots. Yeah. They didn't really do a good job of taking over, you know, turning our turnovers into points. But again, we will see these guys in two days in Charlotte. Not sure if we're going to see, uh, you know, Max or Donovan back by then. I know Donovan has his uh, update tomorrow, so we'll see how he is. It'd be great if he came back against the Hornets. That'd be the kind of game where you want him to come back because the expectation is he won't play much. And the Hornets, the Hornets, the Hawks just took the lead over the Celtics, bro. My God, the freaking Celtics. Am I even mad? No. Am I even, am I even mad? No. It's just hilarious. They can't stop choking. <laughs> can't stop choking. Can't stop choking. Can't stop choking. <laughs> oh, well, I know how that feels. Blowing leads, that's tough. They did it to, They did it against us, so, yeah. That's tough. We started the trend of choking again. That's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. And I will see you all uh, Wednesday for Cavs and Hornets number two. Again, I'll be live tomorrow for Guardians uh, season preview. That'll be fun. Talk about the team. Give my thoughts on the schedule. Little record prediction for the culture. And then on Wednesday, I'll be live again for an MLB prediction stream. And then I'll be live for Cavs and Hornets Thursday. I'm pretty sure I'll be live for Cavs again. We'll see. I know uh, the uh, March Madness is back. So that that's Elite Eight stuff. So I'm going to try and at least do one game of the Elite Eight. We'll see, though. But, yeah, with that being said, that, I think, might be a cable game for the Cavs. So I might still do a March Madness instead. We'll see, though. But with that being said, Cavs are 
back on the winning side of things, which is great. I know it's going to feel good in that locker room tonight. And then they hit the road back out to uh, Charlotte after. So I will see you all probably, uh, well, tomorrow for sure. But I will see you guys later. And uh, have a good rest of your night. Feels good to win. It really does after all this crap. So. Oh, wow. She played possum. That's tough. Wow. That's tough. Oh, Indy Hartwell's like, yo, what are you doing? You playing possum out here? Damn. She's like, yo, what are you doing? Dirty ass. Playing a Ric Flair? Playing possum? She gonna turn on freaking Candice LeRae. Watch. She gonna turn on her at some point. You just know it. But yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Guardian season preview stream. And then Wednesday, back for the Cavs and Hornets again. God, it feels good to win. Don't it? Especially after the last three games. Ugh. Three games of ass. This is what I love to see. You, you hope Spider and Struess are back by the Clipper game? They should be back by then, but we'll see, though. I feel like they'll be back at some point during the West Coast trip, but we'll see. With that being said, I'm Crazy Dog, and uh, again, final score from tonight, 115-92 Cavs win. God, it feels good to say that again. After last night's debacle, I'm glad we were able to pull it off here tonight. Do it again on Wednesday, and uh, let's start a little streak before we head out west. So with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog, and uh, heh, go Cavs. Big dub. And I'm out. See you guys tomorrow for some Guardian stuff. Yeah. Bye-bye. Ooh. Mobley. Damn near had a triple-double. Didn't even know it. <laughs> didn't even know. I didn't even know. I was unaware. That would have been crazy if he had a triple double in his friggin' second game back. On a back to back. Here we go. He looked great. Coming off an ankle? Yeah, he looked great. Had an ankle injury, whatever it was. He looked great. I remember when he got hurt, they said that originally his ankle looked like the size of like a. It was puffed up because it was swollen because he had a sprained ankle. Came back and he looked like a beast tonight. Keep this up and uh, we'll, be, we'll be fine. So, yeah.